Hello everyone, welcome to this Community Voices of the Safe Summit 2020 session Remote PI planning when tools are not enough Before digging into the subject, let me introduce myself I'm Nicola Olivencia, I'm an Agile and Professional Coach at CGI in France So we are at CGI the first safe global transformation partner and from my experiences, I supported both public organization and private uh, companies in their journey to agile at scale transformation. So feel free to contact me uh, if you want to know more about my experiences or more about CGI. So remote PI planning. First of all, it is agile. You may ask yourself during the lockdown, do I really have to organize a PI planning remotely? Can't we just postpone it and wait to a more standard situation? Will it work? We used to have everybody in the same room, fostering collaboration, conversation, decision taking. We cannot be sure that a huge remote alignment meeting will work. And when looking at safe and agile manifesto principles, we can find the mention face to face regarding alignment and conversation. So we might think that it's not in the agile mindset to do so. However, if we look at the definition of the word agile itself, which is an adjective defining someone who can move quickly and easily, and by extension, being agile means being able to move quickly and easily in our changing world, in our complex world, Finally, is it agile to stay inactive and to wait and see what's going to happen by breaking up the PI iteration cadence? The answer is no. Being agile means being able to adapt. And this ability demonstrates a resilient organization that has more chance to survive in this kind of complex environment. So the big challenge is adaptation. So for remote PA planning, we have to be able to provide open and productive communication to foster alignment from an environment like this, where people are talking together in front of boards, teams are working at their tables, um, business owners can circulate from team to teams and to board to boards. So we have to switch from this kind of environment to something more like this. So how could we create this open and productive communication from such an environment? That's the challenge we have to meet. You could ask yourself, um, which tools will I use to do this? But before focusing on tools, I suggest to embrace a more customer centric approach. And to focus more on what the problem to solve. What are the real needs of each role during a PI planning? That's the real question your tools should help you to answer. So we selected a persona for a few roles for, as an example. Of course, you can add the ones that are relevant in your context. So here we, are, we have chosen, for example, a team member. So to plan and collaborate with my team, as a team member, I need to see, discuss and share information with my team to be able to synchronize with other teams and to be able to um, discuss with any product owner, product manager, business owner or architect easily. From an art e point of view, so he has to ensure alignment uh, of the world art. So he will need to have visibility on risks, impediments and dependencies to be able to find and discuss with anybody on the train and to sync with Scrum Master regularly. A product manager will have to understand the big picture, so you will need to have visibility on features and objectives uh, to be able to find and focus with business owners easily and to be um, available at any time to explain and decide on scope. And finally, the business owner um, 
we have to ensure the global direction of the, of the art. So you need to see and understand the uh, objective of each team and to be able to discuss with any team, product owner, product manager easily. So here we can uh, highlight um, the main needs of the different roles for uh, PI planning. And finally, if I can solve this problem, reply to these needs, I will be able, by being agile, to adapt to this particular situation and succeed in doing a remote PI planning. To close this first part, I would like to pinpoint this Benjamin Franklin's quote about adaptation. Change is the only constant in life. One's ability to adapt to those changes will determine your success in life. Or I would say, at least, your success in your remote PI planning. So, tools are important, obviously. So, here are some uh, tips about tools. What leads uh, to success regarding tools? So, a collaboration and uh, conversation tools is not an option. You will have to share ideas, to share drawings, to share your screen with others. So you will absolutely need this kind of tool. And once you have selected a bunch of tools, test them, really. Um, a CGI colleague organized a huge workshop with an online collaborative tool, which was an American uh, tool. And it worked really well during the morning, but in the afternoon, when all of North America also connect to the tool, performances uh, became awful and the use of the tool was not manageable anymore. So really think about testing your tools and as close as possible to real conditions. Another, th another tip is participants should not discover the tools on the day. So either choose a familiar tool or organize discovering session before the PI planning so that participants do not discover it on the day. Additionally, a team uh, of tool set uh, facilitators is a good practice to help people uh, who have questions or uh, technical issues. And last but not least, again, really think about the real problem and needs before choosing your tools. Otherwise, you could choose a fantastic tool with a thousand of functionality that could be too complex to use or without replying to uh, your real needs. So a few examples from uh, the real world. This is a huge anonymous industry company and the solution for them was to choose an already deployed tool set. They used G Suite. People already knew about how to use this. Um, this was their day-to-day -to tool. So <clears throat> they decided to create a remote uh, PI planning task force for prepare and create a Google site um, to have a cartography of teams, of conference rooms, of different chats, etc. And you will have an idea of it in the next slide. And they were using also uh, version 1 as their ALM for managing uh, program board and dependencies. So here is uh, the Google Sites. So it's, this is the large solution calendar and you have uh, direct access to the solution vision uh, plenary uh, uh, meeting management review, solution uh, syncs, etc. And direct uh, access to shared services and uh, direct access also to uh, the different trains of the solution uh, whose name have been uh, hidden uh, in the pic. By clicking on it, on, on, by, clicking on, by clicking on each uh, train, you can access the art map. Um, so here you can find all team names with a direct link to their virtual conference room, to their uh, shared team boards. And in the middle, there's an access uh, to the train plenary sessions and at the top, uh, access to the train boards. 
like the Scrum or Scrum board, program or risk boards, etc., dependencies, etc. In another company, which is an agency who creates software for schools and universities, uh, they decided to choose a few weeks uh, before the PI planning a new tool, which is Sococo. Um, Klaxoon has been used as their collaboration tool and Slack for direct chat. Even if Sococo pro provide this feature, um, they used to use this Slack tool where they already created different channels for technical topics, group of people, etc. So it was really easy for them to, to reuse that. So here is Sococo, which is displaying a map where every person is represented as an avatar. So you can see uh, where are the people and with who uh, they are talking. So um, similarly to a co-located PI planning, you can search uh, and find somebody and ask him uh, if he could join you for a talk. So here in this case, you can right click, right -click on the avatar and uh, propose uh, the person to join you in another room. So as, in, as this is the case in face-to-face -face PI planning, um, the person can accept or deny or at least delay your request. An advantage of this tool is that by seeing avatars moving from room to another, you can better feel um, the atmosphere of the PI planning. So this is a great advantage uh, in a lockdown situation. And this is Klaxoon. Uh, this is a team board. So uh, we can see uh, um, the different sprints with the stories uh, planned on it, with objectives uh, shown, the risks identified and also a direct link to program boards and to a risk board. From other clients from manufacturing, telecommunication, government, um, we find a lot of different tools used uh, for collaboration, communication, uh, another ILM like Jira or others uh, for, for example, um, live uh, question during a plenary session or uh, for the confidence vote, for example. Another tool which is not uh, mentioned here uh, that has been uh, quite often used uh, in um, some uh, big French companies is uh, Microsoft Teams also uh, for collaboration and, and communication uh, functionalities. So this quote is from uh, Christopher Isaac Stone, which is the uh, co-founder of Twitter. And he says, even the simplest tool can empower people to do great things. So really think about that before choosing your tool set. So tools are a, prerequis a prerequisite which is necessary, but not sufficient. And mindset is key. So it's not enough to set good tools. You will also have to prepare prior to the event, like in a standard PI planning, uh, and, even, and even more for a remote one, uh, to prepare, uh, in addition of the logistics, the contents of your PI planning, capabilities, feature, and even, even some stories will have to be well refined prior to the event. So you will need time to do that. And then, the behavior and the mindset of people, of the participants, will determine the success of the PI planning. This will be about role and responsibilities, engagement of people, and openness and transparency. And we'll, I will deep dive into these three topics. The first one is role and responsibilities. So be sure everyone is aware about what is needed from him. So a good practice is to reinforce the messages to all participants. You could also take time with key roles prior to, the, prior to the PI planning to remind their overriding objectives during the event. And also servant leaders will play an important role to guide, to reassure, to help teams um, in focusing uh, at the good level of details. Uh, it's not necessary to dig into deep technical details of each user stories while this have low impact on the estimation. So their ability to put their foot 
in the door um, will be a gift for the world art. And uh, as uh, an RTE, at the RTE, um, your responsibility um, is to be sure everybody is in good standing for, for planning. Uh, so you cannot do it, do it alone. So another good practice is to create a, a guild or task force for preparing, animating and facilitating this remote PA planning. Uh, as an RTE, if you um, have to help and guide any people who has technical issues with the tools, always searching for somebody or for, for a specific room or board, you will not have so many time for helping in removing impediments, managing risks, helping teams or facilitate uh, tough discussions and meetings. So you will use one of the primary aspects of your responsibility as an RTE, which is coaching the train. Engagement of people. So once guidelines and objectives are clear, you can be sure that people are doing their best and even more in lockdown situation. You can trust their engagement. So trust is key uh, for the success of your PI planning and for the efficiency of your organization. If you don't have this trust before launching a remote PI planning and by extension an agile at scale transformation, I'm not sure you can lead to qualitative outcomes. And even more, uh, this situation sometimes leads to too much engagement. So we saw um, people working very late during the night or uh, without uh, having lunch break or with having no break at all. So a good practice is to remind people about taking care of their health, um, taking fresh air, respecting the time and schedules, uh, to do stretching, etc. And the last point is about openness and transparency. So homework uh, fosters some agile values and, and mindset. Um, this has been a huge learning for me during the lockdown period. The most visible one is empathy. It emerged naturally from almost everybody. I'm sure you remember this video of uh, Robert Kelly. Is, uh, he was an expert interviewed during the news at uh, BBC and he has been a little bit disturbed by his children who succeeded in uh, opening the door of his home office. He, were, he was horribly embarrassed and um, he long refused to uh, testify or to talk about the incidents, but he finally received a tidal wave of empathetic messages of support. So he, he was an expert, but also a father and uh, every viewers understood what he has gone through. And this is the same thing for participants who are remote PI planning. We know that everybody is doing the, his best uh, with uh, their own environment uh, at home. So this is a um, natural emergence of empathy. Openness now, which is needed regarding other prisons and particularly in your team discussions. When you are in conference room talking about some complex technical issues, if you stop anytime somebody is joining uh, your conference room, you will not be able to crack tough problem. And people could join uh, your conference room for a lot of different reasons, just to observe how the team is doing, to try to get the big picture of what's happening, to discuss with a particular member of your team, or even to provide important information to the team. So be sure that teams welcome the fact that people are joining and leaving their conference call. And a high level of transparency uh, is necessary uh, to allow anybody to see how things are going, which dependencies or risks uh, have been identified are under resolution or resolve, um, which feature or capability has been planned or not, which objectives can be uh, reached or have to be challenged. 
So this is true for a collocated environment and even more in a remote PI planning. To foster this, important uh, messages have to be provided to prepare the global, the global mindset of people and to um, align everybody with the challenge. Um, welcome other people attendance to your discussions, actively ask people to participate to your discussions, uh, feel free to accept or delay a participation request from somebody else. And all of this should not be an issue or a frustration point, but as to be recognized as priority manage management of people's time. And of course, take regular breaks and respect time schedules. And the last thing about this part is about trust. With this quote of an anonymous person, the only visible thing uh, from remote workers is the outcome. We are usually more efficient in such situation. So you can really trust your teams in this kind uh, of speci specific situations. The last part is about um, having fun that fosters success. Discussing on hard and complex things all day long during several days is exhausting. So to be able to focus during a long time, we need regular slack moments. We need an outlet. So this can be fun moments. They will provide energy, smile, and sense of humanity. So here are some examples. The first one is um, we experienced was to ask everybody to turn on their camera and to, uh, provide, and to give them one minute to grab and show the most important uh, object or thing uh, for them uh, during the lockdown. So everybody leaves their chair and run in their home and bring different stuff. We got uh, phones, iPad, uh, coffee cups, a guitar, a children, a lot of different type of things. So this was really funny to see and to share a part of oneself um, with others, providing smiles and, and empathy. Other ideas uh, could be to propose lounge virtual rooms with music or just uh, coffee discussions or even a game room with quiz or via, with um, virtual football table, for example. Um, and the last example I would like to share with you is um, um, during the, the, the evening uh, synchronization, um, the RTE asked to all participants uh, tomorrow morning, uh, get dressed up before turning your camera on. So everybody, uh, the next day, everybody was connected with the camera off and uh, after the after a countdown everybody turned on the camera and we had something like this so the picture has been uh, blown up um, but you can imagine smiles and energy after this kind of love moments so yes i'm in the peak but um, i'll not let you so much time to identify me sorry <laughs> So we are coming to the end of this conference. Um, if you're still there, um, I really would like to thank you for listening. I would have preferred to be in front of you on a stage to see and feel your reactions, uh, to discuss with you and to collect your feedback. But it's been a pleasure to prepare this remotely and I'm happy uh, to have been with you uh, part of this. So don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. So again, thank you very much for your attention. Please uh, leave me a comment. Um, I would be glad to continue the discussion with you on LinkedIn, whose uh, link uh, can be found on the right side. Um, hope to see you soon. Au revoir et à bientôt.